What's up everyone, it's Walid. So it's gonna be a little echoey today. I'm on location at a photo shoot we just wrapped up. And number two, um, I always like to start a video with what you're gonna learn and what you're gonna take away from this. What you're gonna learn from this video is what happens when you don't follow your heart and when you let other people dictate your path. And it's my own personal story. I thought about it for a while, about whether I share this with you guys or not. So let me just get to the bullet points. Right now it is October 2017. I want to take you back two years, exactly two years to October 2015. It had been several months where I opened my studio in downtown Los Angeles. It was a big 5,000 square foot studio. And I was still undoing boxes. But in my mind, I just was not in the best place, professionally and spiritually and everything. And the reason why I wasn't is because for about a year leading up to that, I let everybody dictate what I should do, how I should shoot, what clients I should take, which direction I should take my career. Now it's great to take people's input, but always remember that you know the true uh, definition of your path and you know what's good for you more than anybody else ever would know. What I did was a fatal mistake, which was I changed my shooting style, I changed my clientele, I changed how I, I the jobs I took. Um, I, I took things for money, not for art. And instead of career going up, it was complete opposite. That's pretty much what happened and that's what brought me to October 2015. While I was unpacking boxes in my new studio, I was also in my mind writing my next year's top 10 goal list. And I always make one every year. I carry this list in my wallet. I pulled out the list and I realized I didn't really accomplish anything because I went against what was my truth. In the midst of unpacking boxes, I decided, you know what? You once read the book, The Secret, and then you watched the DVD and it was incredible. So pull out that DVD, watch it again. That became my mission to find the DVD for The Secret. And it had people, I think Rhonda Burns and Bob Proctor and so many other people. Day one passed, day two passed, day three passed, four, five, six, I could not find this DVD. I probably went through a few dozen boxes and I gave up looking for it. Just then, that exact day, my friend Dustin called me and said, can I share your number with somebody? They're, they're looking for a photographer and I think you'd be the right choice. I said, sure. The next day, I get a call from someone named Lisa. Lisa says, hi, I work with Bob Proctor and Sandy Gallagher and I would love to hire you for a photo shoot for Bob and Sandy for their new projects. What's crazy about this, Bob Proctor is one of the main stars of the DVD that I was looking for for one full week. The next day, Bob Proctor's office calls me. The law of attraction is always working. You can never escape everything that comes into your life. You're attracting into your life. And you see, as we understand the secret, then we can sit down and dictate exactly what we want to come into our life. And with absolute certainty, it will arrive. Wow, how energy attracts things to each other. Now what's crazier about it, and which is the worst crime you can ever suffer as an artist or any sort of creative, is when you no longer think you're an artist. And I kept asking myself for months, is it time to move on? Do I realize I had a good run? And I really, really questioned going back to school and getting my MBA and, you know, just trying to figure out what my new path was. And I started looking for this DVD of The Secret so I can get energized again. Never found it. But the day I gave up the search, the next day Bob Proctor's office calls me. And you can see Bob, you know, here, right here in The Secret. Well, in the middle of the shoot, the shoot was going very well. We were shooting in my studio. I was setting up the lighting in the other side of the studio. Out of nowhere, completely unsolicited, Bob comes up to me from behind, puts his hand on my shoulder, and says, Walid, I just think you need to know. And he said, I've shot with so many photographers in my career that you are completely different than them. 
and he said to me the question I had been asking myself for like six months. He said, you are an artist and I want you to know that. And he walked away from me. And if you remember, my question for myself was for about six months, am I still an artist? I just want you guys to know that that moment was a turning point for the reemergence of my career. Now it took another year and a half of fighting really hard to get back to good, back to you know where I was. Um, and so the career is, thank God, picking up again. That's what happened. And I just want you guys to know that there's a lesson in this, okay? The moral of the story is follow your path because this incredible thing that you built could be gone like that. And that pretty much almost happened to me. Follow your path. Your path is yours. What you decide to do with your career is your responsibility, it's your management, it's your life. It's not for your mom and dad, it's not for your aunt and uncle, it's not for your cousins or neighbors or friends and co-workers to decide for you what your path should be. You can listen to them, you can take notes if you know that they love you and you know that they care for you, but it is your responsibility to drive your own path. People are going to die, people are gonna leave your life you will always be with you and so you have to follow your path and i really urge you guys to understand that my career started because i listened to my instincts my career started because i knew how to tap into that sixth sense my career almost ended because i stopped listening to my sixth sense i stopped listening to my gut feelings i started doing things that were going to make other people happy and thank God I believe in energy. And I'm so thankful that Bob connected with me somehow and decided to come to me and decided to give me that message that I needed to hear. So when you see The Secret, when you see all of their other projects, know what an angel he is in my life. He said this to me two years ago. Two years later, we're back for a second round of photo shoots, all new types of images for their live events and books and social media and everything. I just want you guys to know how incredible that is. And if the story doesn't resonate with you, maybe you haven't crossed that bridge yet where you question yourself. If the story does not resonate with you, maybe you don't believe enough in energy and instincts. But I assure you, it may upset some people and I don't care too much. It doesn't matter what religion you are. It doesn't matter if you believe in a religion. Instincts is what you are. It is the roadmap through the universe for you. And so we are taught to turn off our instincts. We're taught to not listen to them. We're taught to listen to what the public has to say and what people have to say about our egos. So we don't listen to our inner voice. And we're the only creatures on earth that kill our instincts. It's one of the first things that we do when there is a newborn, we kill their instincts. Pay attention to it, this happens. To the rich, to the poor, to the Jews, to the Muslims, to the Christians, Buddhists, Hindus, non-believers, everyone. One of the first three words any human ever learns is the word no. No, we don't do that. No, you're not a good baby if you cry. No, good girls don't cry. Or be a good boy, don't do this, don't say that. Everything is to please everybody. Everything is to look good for everybody. Everything is to have put on a good face. Listen to your instincts, develop it. I'm gonna make more videos about instincts. Listen to the universe, listen to energy. Just practice it, please. This right here is a full example of the universe listening to what I needed, what I was begging for. I was finally ready and it came to me. And it didn't come to me any other way but from the source of the book and the DVD that I was looking for. Fuck, that's incredible. And the answer I was looking for, that I'm still good enough, that I'm still an artist, that answer came from the person I needed to hear from. Not a friend, not a family member, the author who was teaching this came and told me, am I still an artist? That was the hardest question I had to ask myself. And I sure am. I'm a great artist and so are you. Listen to your instincts. Um, so I'm forever thankful for Sandy and Bob and for Bob just taking a moment and listening to the energy that told him to come to me and say, put your hand around that guy and tell him he's still an artist. So 
that's my story. And we did an um, awesome shoot today. It's my story. I'm actually linking Bob's work and his books and his YouTube channel. Subscribe to him. Pretty rad. It's not religious. It's universal. We all need to subscribe to this, okay? Thank you so much. I'll see you guys in the next video. If this inspired you in any way, here's a mandatory tagging that I have to do. If this inspired you in any way, I'm serious. Please give it a like. YouTube pays attention to that. If you have questions, leave a comment. I try to respond to every single one of them and subscribe. Share this video with anybody who is not following their path. Just let them know that someone who just share this video. They'll know what to do with it.